How are you doing today? Good. My name is David. I'm with the truck ministry. Uh-huh. Give you a free notepad. Oh, okay. Here's a free John and Romans. Oh, okay. And here's a CD that you can listen to going down the road. Oh. On the on this John and Romans on the back side, there's the Ten Commandments. Are you familiar with the Ten Commandments? Yeah. Do you think you've kept them? Oh, well, I'm sure I haven't. <laughs> uh, none of us have. You know, the Bible says that. Uh, Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in this side. And that's because we've all broken them. The only person that ever kept the Ten Commandments was who? Jesus Christ. He's the only one. Because he always loved his neighbor as he loved himself. And he always loved God with all his heart, mind, soul, and strength. So he's the only one that kept the Ten Commandments. And the Ten Commandments, God didn't give them to us to save us. Because... He knew we couldn't be saved by him, but he gave them to us basically as a schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. Because when we look at God's law, we see our our guilt. You know, it's just kind of like a person gets dirty and they look in a mirror, they see all the smudges, they see the all the dirt. Well, that's kind of the way it is when we look at God's law. The Bible says, "Thou shalt not covet." None of us can say we have never desired something that didn't belong to us in an unlawful way. Jesus said if you look with lust, you commit adultery in your heart. So the law deals more, doesn't just deal with our outward actions, but it deals with our heart. So every one of us are guilty, and if we died in our sins, what would happen to us? What would happen if we died in our sins? Okay, yeah, if you died in your sins, you know, the Bible says that uh, the wages of our sin is death. It says death and hell were cast in like a fire. This is second death. And God doesn't want to do that to any of us. He doesn't want to inflict His wrath upon us. He doesn't desire that for us. Because God is a merciful God. He's a kind God. And if He's true to Himself, He has to satisfy His justice. He can't just forgive people without justice being satisfied. So he provided a way that justice could be satisfied in the person of Christ. When Christ suffered on the cross, shed his blood, God, his justice was satisfied. Jesus, when he was on the cross, he said, it is finished. He paid the debt in full. And because the debt has been paid in full, anyone can go to heaven in a, without paying for it themselves. In fact, they can't pay for it themselves, but Christ paid it all. And the Bible says we're not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, the Lamb without blemish and without spot. And then Christ rose the third day, and He defeated death. And the Bible says, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Would you say that you have ever been born again? You have? Yeah, I've asked Jesus. Okay. All right, well, uh, that's the only way that we can go to heaven is, is if we have had a time in our life where we repented of our sins, put our trust in Christ, and then at that moment we pass from death unto life. But we'll be over there just south of scales there if, if it works for you. Well, maybe it won't work for you, but if it does, you know, we'd like to have you. So. Are you? service over there? Yeah, I just have a little Bible study with the guys that come. So I don't, probably won't, I have one guy that said he'd come, and then, I mean, I invited a number of other ones, so I don't know who will all be there, but. What time are you going to start it? Oh, I'll be over there in, you know, five minutes or so, so we'll start when, you know, five, ten minutes we'll start, so. Uh, anyways, you're welcome to come on over if that works for you. I'll, I'll think about it. So, sure. Yeah. All right. Well, you're invited. So, okay. all right. Thanks. All right. Have a good one.